Hi all, welcome to my channel on basic mathematics and in this tutorial we are going to see how to solve simultaneous equations using matrices. As you can see in this diagram, these are a set of simultaneous equations and we are going to solve them using matrices in this manner. So the first thing we are going to do is, we are going to find something called an inverse matrix. If you have a matrix like A, the inverse matrix of A is going to be A inverse, that is a joint A divided by the determinant of A. So already we know how to find the determinant of A and now let's move forward and try to find this adjoint A. As I have told you earlier, we already know how to find the determinant of a matrix and we need it here in this equation and we have to find this adjoint matrix. Adjoint matrix is a kind of a matrix that we are using in order to get the inverse matrix and in order to get the adjoint matrix we have to find this cofactor matrix. In, when we are going to find the cofactor matrix, we have to use this sign convention that we have used with the determinant. So let's see how to find this cofactor matrix first. When we are going to find the cofactor matrix, we have to proceed like this. Now first of all, let's look at this 2 by 2 matrix. Let's say A equals 3, 2, minus 1, 1. And then when you look at the cofactor matrix, it's somewhat similar to how to find the determinant but slightly different. What we again do here is we take the 1, 1 element. This is the first row, first column element. and here. We look at that and then you can see that when you remove the row and the column which contains the 1, 1 million, you are left with 1. So that is the value we are putting here. And then if you look at the 1, 2 element, you remove the row, you remove the column which contains the 1, 2 element, then you are left with minus 1. But according to the sign convention, this location is negative, therefore this negative into negative will become positive 1. And then you come to this 2, 1 position, when you come to 2, 1 position, you remove the row, you remove the column which, which contains the 2, 1 position and you are left with 2. And according to the sign convention, that is going to be minus 2 as this location is negative. So if you can remember, this is the sign convention we are using. And then if you look at the 2, 2 location, you remove the row and remove the column which contains the 2, 2 ele element and then you are left with 3. So this is the cofactor matrix of this 2 by 2 matrix. In a similar manner, we can find the cofactor matrix of a 3 by 3 matrix. Now let's look at this matrix. This is a 3 by 3 matrix and we move forward according to the same way that you have done with the 2 by 2 matrix. First of all, we take the 1, 1 element. When you take the 1, 1 element, you remove the row and you remove the column which contains the 1, 1 element and then you are left with these four values, 1, 4, 2, minus 1. You find the determinant of those four values. And then you go to the 1, 2 location, you remove the row, remove the column which contains the 1, 2 location and you are left with these four values, minus 2, 4, minus 5 and minus 1. You find the determinant of that and then according to the sign location this is minus so therefore you put this minus 1 here and then when you want to find the 1 3 element you come to 1 3 location and remove the row remove the column which contains the 1 3 location and then you are left with these four values that is minus 2 1 minus 5 and 2 and the sign is positive and similarly if you want to find the 2 1 location remove the row which contains the second this element and remove the column and you are left with 3 minus 4 2 minus 1 and you have it here and according to the sign convention this is a negative location so in this manner you have to proceed and find the rest of the values now this is this is the cofactor matrix that we are going to find and let's simplify this and get the actual cofactor matrix so here you can see that if you want to find the determinant of this one, this is 1 minus 1 minus 2 into 4. So this is the same way we are find the determinant. And then you have this minus 1 here from this minus and then minus 2 into minus 1, minus 2 into minus 1, minus you have minus 5 into 4, minus, minus 5 into 4. So I think you know how to find the determinant. So then uh, here we find the determinant of all those six values and then you simplify it again. This is going to become 1 into 1 is minus 1, minus 2 into 4 is 8, minus 8. And this is minus and within here you have minus 2 into minus 1 is 2, minus 5 into 4 is plus, uh, this minus into minus will be plus, that therefore you will become, uh, you will have plus 20, then it will become uh, uh, minus 1 into this value. So likewise in this manner you find the determinant of all these values and finally when you simplify them you will get the cofactor matrix. So this is the 3 by 3 cofactor matrix that you are having. In order to find the adjoint matrix we have to take transpose of a cofactor matrix that means we have to perform this transpose operation on this cofactor matrix. So first of all then we will look at what is this transpose means. Transpose means simply you take the row of a matrix and then convert it into a column. 
column. So you take the first row of this 2 by 2 matrix M11, M12 and you convert it into the first column M11, M12 and you take the second row of the matrix and then you convert it into the second column. So now we will look at an example and how to say how, let's see how it is done. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix, we have 3, 2, minus 10 and plus 1. So as I told you earlier what you do here is you take the first row that is 3, 2, make it into the first column that is 3, 2. You take the second row minus 1 and 1, you make it into the second column that is the transpose of a 2 by 2 matrix and in a similar manner you can find the transpose of a 3 by 3 matrix as well you take the first row that is 2 3 minus 4 you make it into the first column 2 3 minus 4 and second row minus 2 1 4 make it into the uh, second column minus 2 1 4 and finally you take the last row minus 5 2 minus 1 and convert that into the minus 5 2 minus 1 that is going to be the third column of the transposed matrix now we have all the basic requirements in order to find the uh, solution to a set of simultaneous equation using matrices. Now let's see actually how it is done. First of all, we will look at this set of simultaneous equations m11x, m11m12y, m13z equals d1. So likewise, you have three equations. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to convert this set of equations into matrices. Then you can see that I take the coefficients of the first equation and then write it as m11, m12, m13 and take the coefficient of the second equation m21, m22 and m23 you write it down here and you take the coefficient of the third equation m31, m32 and m33 and write it down here and then in the second matrix now you write this x, y and z and this is going to be the A matrix or the coefficient matrix and this is the unknown matrix that is x and the third one is the uh, constant matrix that is d1, d2, d3. You write it down just like this and then this is the d matrix and you can see that if I do the matrix multiplication of this uh, equations you will get m11 multiplied by x, m11x, m12, y, m13, z. Similarly m21, y you get from here m21, no, m21, x and m22, y, m23, z and m31, x will be coming from m31 multiplied by x, m32, y will come from m32, y, m33, z. So you can see that when you multiply this A matrix with X matrix, you will get the set of equations that you have all started with. So now you know how to convert the set of equations into matrices and then we will see actually how to find the answers to this now. So this is the matrix that we, that this equation we have built up already that is A, A matrix into X, the unknown matrix is equal to the coefficient so constant or D matrix. So here AX equals D. What I will do is I will multiply both sides of the equation by the A inverse. So that's why we actually found the inverse earlier. So when I multiply A inverse both sides this will become A inverse into AX equals A inverse D. A inverse A going to become identity matrix or I uh, is usually like 1 x into 1 over x or x inverse you will get the 1 so in a similar manner matrix in the matrix multiplication A inverse into A is going to become the identity matrix and identity matrix multiplied by any other matrix is also equal to that other matrix that we are using so identity matrix into x is going to be just x so then you can see that the x or the unknown matrix is equal to the a inverse times the d matrix matrix so what we have to actually do is we have to find the inverse of this a matrix and multiply that with the d matrix that we already have so now it's time to look at some examples so we will look at the first set of equation we are going to look at two variables that's going to be my example one so we have this 2x minus 3y equals minus 4 x plus 2y equals 5 so first of all i'll convert this one into matrices 2 and minus 3 and 1 and 2 that is the a matrix and you have the unknown matrix x y the d matrix is minus 4 and 5 so now you have the a matrix 2 minus 3 1 2 and the d matrix minus 4 5 and now the first thing we have to do is we have to find the uh, inverse matrix of A. Right. So now here we have this A matrix 2 minus 3 1 2. We have to find the inverse matrix. To find the inverse matrix you need the adjoint A as well as the determinant of A. So we can easily find the determinant of A that is 2 into 2 minus 1 into minus A that is going to become plus 7. And you can find the cofactor matrix as I have done earlier. You take the 1 1 element and remove that 
then you are left with you remove the row and the column which contains one element you are left with two and that's here we come to one two element remove the row and column and you are left with one according to the sign convention this is minus one when you come to the one two one element you remove the row and you remove the column you are left with minus three but with the trust sign convention that's going to become plus three and finally uh, two two element you remove the row and the column you are left with plus two now this is the cofactor matrix and in order to get the adjoint matrix we have to get the transpose of the cofactor matrix so here we have it uh, two minus one is going to be two minus one <coughs> as the column and three to the second row is going to become three two as the second column now we have the adjoint matrix now let's move forward and find the inverse matrix so a inverse as i told you earlier is adjoint a divided by the determinant of a that is 2 3 minus 1 2 divided by the determinant that is 7 and you divide all the four values by 7 so this is going to be 2 over 7 3 over 7 minus 1 over 7 and 2 over 7 so that is the inverse matrix this one we are going to multiply with the coefficient constant matrix or the d matrix and then you will get the answers so finally in 2 by 2 matrix uh, this is what you have x equals a inverse d and my have the a inverse value as 2 over 7 3 over 7 minus 1 over 7 2 over 7 that i'm going to multiply with the d matrix which is minus 5 over minus 5 and 5 minus 4 and 5 so here we do the multiplication uh, here you will get 2 into minus 4 divided by 7 3 into 3 over 7 divided into 5 and then minus 1 over 7 into minus 4 2 over 7 into 5 so this is the normal matrix multiplication and you do the simplification and you will get it as 7 over 7 14 over 7 that is 1 and 2 therefore the x variable is 1 and 2 y variable is 2 so this is how you can solve a set of two equations using matrices so next we will see how to do it for a, a three variable scenario when we have three variables also it's going to be the same thing now we have three equations and three variables and first of all i'm going to find this a matrix to do that i will take all the coefficients and find out the matrix like this and i have the unknown matrix or the x matrix and i have the d or the constant matrix as minus one two seven and here you can see that the a matrix is two minus three one 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 2 3 and the d matrix is minus 1 2 and 7 so in order to solve this we have to find the inverse of the a matrix so let's proceed i have the a matrix and first of all i'm going to find the determinant of a to do that i'm going to take the first uh, row if i take the first row that is two times you take the determinant of these two and then minus three times determinant of these four uh, there's a separate video on the determinant calculation so you can refer to that if you have any questions as to how to, how to find the determinant and also here we have this uh, minus one that is the uh, sign convention value so you put that also and you get one and you are left with the determinant of these two and you do this calculation and finally you will arrive at 17 so 17 is the determinant that you will get for the a matrix we have the determinant now now let's proceed and find the uh, adjoint matrix now we are going to find the adjoint matrix of a to do that first of all i have to find the cofactor matrix so in this tutorial i have told you earlier how to find the cofactor matrix so we have to proceed as follows so as i told you in that way you take the first one one element you remove the row you remove the column and you write down the remaining values and find the determinant of that one and you to find the one two element you take the row and the column remove them and then you are left with one minus one two three and then from the sign convention you will get minus one to get the one three element you remove the row and you remove the column which contains the one three element you are left with these four values one two two minus two and, in, and to get the 2 1 element you remove the second row and the first column you are left with minus 3 1 minus 2 3 and then from the sign convention you get a minus here so in this manner you have to find the cofactor matrix uh, putting values to the rest of the locations once you find the cofactor matrix you do you do the simplification and as i have told you how to do that earlier so you can proceed or you can post this video and see what kind of mathematics are done here but finally once you do the simplification you will get the cofactor matrix as this we have the cofactor matrix now and now we will take the transpose of that and that will become my adjoint matrix so we have the cofactor matrix and i take the transpose of that so here you can see 4 minus 5 6 is the first row i'm going to make it into the first column 4 minus 5 6 in a similar manner i will do for the second row and third row and i will have the adjoint 
matrix like this. Now, in order to get the inverse, I have to get this adjoint matrix and divide it by the determinant of A. So, we have calculated the determinant earlier that was 17. So, now I will divide the 9 separate values that we are getting here by 17. And this will be the inverse matrix. That is all the values divided by 17. So the final step is multiplying the inverse matrix with the constant matrix. So here we do it like that. X or unknown matrix is equal to A inverse times D. So this is the A inverse matrix that you have found and this is the constant matrix minus 1, 2, 7 and we do the matrix multiplication. Again there is a separate video on uh, matrix multiplication. If you have any doubts or clarification regarding the matrix multiplication you can refer to that one. So here what you do is you take the first row and multiply with this column. 4, 4 over 17 multiplied by minus 1 plus 7 over 17 multiplied by 2 plus 1 over 17 multiplied by 7. So in this way you calculate all these uh, three values and you do the simplification you will get minus 4 over 17 plus 14 over 17 plus 7 over 17 likewise you will get all these values and once you do the simplification you will get 17 over 17, 34 over 17 and 51 over 17 that will become 1, 2 and 3. So the unknown values are x equals 1, y equals 2 and z equals 3. So this is how you can use matrices to find set of simultaneous equations. This can be extended to any number of variables that means if you have 4 variables you have four separate equations and you have a matrix unknown matrix and the d matrix and you can solve it in the same manner so any number of equations can be solved in this way